Hi, welcome to Mallory Performance Parts. Today we're going to talk to you about how easy it is to change a points distributor into an electronic distributor. What we're going to do is we're going to go over installing a Mallory conversion kit. There are two types of conversion kits. There's a Unilite conversion kit and there's an eSpark conversion kit. Essentially they're the same thing, only one offers a two-year warranty and one offers a one-year warranty. Today we're going to show you how to take this points distributor and turn it into an electronic distributor and that's going to really wake your motor up. This is a standard small block 350 and if you have a points distributor in your motor you know that there are certain things that you have to do. One thing is maintain your gap in your dwell and constantly replace your points. When you convert this to an electronic distributor you can do away with all that maintenance and it really makes your motor more peppy, makes it more throttle responsive, some people even notice more low end torque. So today let's see how to do it, I'll show you how easy it is. The kit we chose to install today is a Mallory Unilite conversion kit for a Mallory dual points distributor. This kit comes complete with the rotor, the Unilite electronic module, the wire harness for your coil, and of course your instructions, and a handy bag of hardware which we'll get to in the instructions to show you how to install. Everything is in this kit. The first step we're going to do is remove our cap and rotor. When exposing the inside of your distributor, you're going to see that there's a rotor, and this can be pulled off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the condenser, and then we're going to work on removing the plastic insulator, which houses your power wires going to both sets of your points. So we'll do that now. Now that we've removed our condenser, we're going to next remove this screw and this screw which will allow us to take this inner plate out of the distributor and we'll do that now. Now that we've removed our points we're now ready to use our jaw puller also called a battery terminal puller also called a gear puller and we're going to insert it into the top of the brass sleeve and put the jaws around the rotor sleeve because we're going to pry the steel sleeve also called a cam lobe off the top of the distributor. Now it's very important you use a gear puller, a jaw puller, a battery terminal puller to do this. Do not ever try to insert a screwdriver and pry that up. You will damage the mechanical advance, you will break the springs, you will break your counterweights and the whole distributor will need to be sent back to Mallory to be rebuilt. So please follow your directions carefully and use a gear puller or a jaw puller to remove this in the proper manner. Now that we're ready to remove our cam lobe for our points, the first thing we're going to do is insert a button that comes, comes in our kit to protect the top of the brass rotor. This is going to go right in the top. Next we're going to insert our jaw puller or gear puller into the divot and we're going to tighten this down and at this point we're going to remove the gear from the shaft. Now that we're removing our cam lobe, the jar puller will lift it up over the knurl, and as soon as it's over the knurl, you can feel it release. And at that point, it's ready to come off. Now we're ready to install the electronic module. This is our Unilite module installed to the plate. We're just going to drop this into the distributor, making sure that it sits on this ledge inside the distributor. And then the two screws on the side that are actually on your flip-up clips will go in here and lock this in place. And we'll do that now. Now that our grommet is secure, we're ready to install the rotor back onto the housing. And now we're going to hook the wires up coming from the ignition module to our coil. And that's where you'll use this harness that comes in your kit. The white clip is going to attach to your module and the other end of your harness is going to go to your coil. You have three wires, standard wires that go to a coil. The red one is your coil positive, the green one is your coil negative, 
and the brown one is going to go to an engine ground. And in this case, we're going to choose an intake manifold bolt. And it's very important when you're putting the plastic clip on your new harness that these line up so that there's no wires being misconnected. So in this case, the green one's going to go in first. Then the brown one. Then your red one. Now that we know that the order they're in, we'll check and make sure that they're in tight. And you can hear them snap into place when they've locked into the plastic clip. Now that the plastic clip is on, we connect these together making sure that the other end connects to our coil and we're in business. The last phase is going to be making sure that you have a coil that is 1.4 ohms of primary resistance or you're going to need to buy a ballast resistor if you have less than that. It's very important, I'll say it again, if you have a coil you need to have 1.4 ohms of resistance or you're going to burn this module up. So make sure you have the proper coil with the proper resistance. And next we'll batten it up with our cap and attach our coil wires. Now that we've completely installed the Mallory Unilite conversion kit in place of our dual points, all that's left to do is replace our cap and rotor and connect the coil. If you've chose to take your distributor out of your car and do this kit on the workbench, it's very important that when you put the distributor back in, you follow all of the rules of installing a distributor. The rotor needs to point towards your number one cylinder, and this needs to be reinstalled at top dead center on your compression stroke in your engine. And we'll attach our coil now. Okay, that concludes our install. You can change your points distributor into a conversion kit in about 25 minutes. Everything that we've covered today is in the instructions. This comes with your kit, including how to hook it up to your coil based on the voltage and ohms of resistance that you may have in your car. For more information on this install and other videos, please visit our Mallory website at www dot mallory-ignition.com thanks for watching